Welcome back to another episode of DIY M3 Snowy edition As you can see door panels are still off That's all still getting sorted uh, Mirrors are still off at the body shop getting painted And uh, yeah I've had some update progress Where they've ground them all back to bare metal and stuff And seen the condition that they were in So I'm glad I caught it now uh, Today we're just going to do a little short video On steering wheel removal While the car's off the road and the weather's rubbish I've decided that I'm going to have the steering wheel retrimmed so I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the description, I'm getting that done at Royal Steering Wheels and obviously once it's back I can then update the video with a picture of what it looks like now. This is just going to be a quick rundown of what we need to do to get the steering wheel off. Um, obviously we're going to start by disconnecting the battery uh, and then there's just a couple of little tip, tips, tricks and tips that we're going to get on with and uh, get the wheel off. So let's do that. So, tools you're going to need today. Short, stubby flathead. We're going to need a 3 8 ratchet, a 16 mm uh, anything else? And a 10, just for disconnecting the battery. Round to the business end. Mirrors are still off. Told you, snow edition. Oh, sneak peek of some future videos. Right, all we've got to do is start by lifting up the boot floor. There's normally two clips in that. They're just twist clips. They pull out. That'll release the battery tray. That'll reveal the battery, 10mm socket, and uh, that will quickly disconnect that. I'll give you a quick rundown of that. Right, so back to how we were. We'll lift the boot floor up. I always just use this little catch as a toggle. Inside here, you're going to see normally there's two twist clips. You'll just twist them half a turn, pull that out, reveals the battery. You want to go to the negative side of the battery, just a 10mm on the top. We'll quickly whiz that top nut off, give that a wiggle, and that's disconnected. Let's get on to the inside. Quick edit, chuck a microfiber or something similar in the boot latch if you're going to put the boot down just so it doesn't lock you out because obviously the electrics are now disconnected. Once inside the car, you'll see I've obviously wrapped my bits and got the Storm design paddles. Behind the wheel, if I can move this enough, you will see the small slot. If I can get some focus, it will go. Go on. right there that's where you're going to put your flathead screwdriver and what you want to do with that screwdriver is just instead of going in like this you're going to go in with it flat so i always like to put my wipers on full and push my full beams back just so i've got that little bit extra room and then we will then continue to Put the screwdriver in the hole and release the clip. So let me get on with that. Once you've got the screwdriver in your hole, you'll see there's a slot the way to put the screwdriver in. You can then obviously just angle it down ever so slightly and feel for the spring. What you want to do is just push that spring in and slightly pull back on one side of the bag and that will release that side of the airbag. And then we're going to twist the steering over slightly so we can get into the other side and do exactly the same with this side. So angle it down ever so slightly and this will all be done on feel. You're, all, you're, you're going in blind, but you've just got a kind of feel for the spring. If we can. And that will be your airbag out. On the back, get in on these. On the back, you'll see just these little tabs. You just want to put them to the right, put them to the left, and that whole thing will then lift out. Same for this one. 
to the right, to the left, and that whole thing will come out. Fully releasing your airbag. Just to give you an idea of what you're actually trying to achieve by getting the screwdriver in the side with the spring clip. Inside here, you'll see my screwdriver just up here, pulling back and forward. And what you're aiming for is to push back on that spring. So by pushing the screwdriver in and out, you'll in turn release the airbag. So all we need left to do is undo the clips on the clock spring, one bolt in the middle, and that will release our steering wheel. So let's get on with that. Getting these wiring clips off, you'll see in the center, they've just got a little push tab. So you're just gonna push that down and remove the first one. You can see it there. Just push that down. And the other two, one and two, they are both just pull fit. So that is your wiring released. So one bolt in the middle. What I find is easiest, the steering wheel is loose from obviously where you're getting it off. Take your key back out the ignition, lock the steering over, and then grab your 16 on the socket and just crack that off. I did forget to mention you will need an extension just when undoing the 16 mil just to make it a bit easier. That will drop down into the bottom of the steering wheel into oblivion where you're never going to find it. No, I'm joking. Quick wriggle side to side. And eventually, voila, one steering wheel removed. Okay, after I got the wheel off, I decided I'm going to bring mine indoors just for some warmth today. Um, so I'm going to start now stripping it down further, removing the whole outer trim. That will come off as one. Uh, all you're going to need is a T20 and a T15. The T20 screws are just these two here and here. And that whole trim is going to come off. So let's quickly whip them out. There's one. Nearly, number two. And then all we're gonna do is get our fingers in the crease up the top, put the wheel down, and just prise that out. You're gonna be left with one connector. As you can see, that will just be a quick pull type, just for the steering controls. And you are free. If you're looking at wrapping this, like I have, it's just the four screws. Again, just T20s, one, two, three, four, and the two pull apart on the clips. Um, next, what we need to do is Royal um, stipulate that they like the wheels stripped bare, if possible. So I think I'm gonna go one further and I'll just remove the paddles I'll leave the lumen stuff connected, but the paddles are so easy to get off that I'll just remove them. T15 on the back. You'll see on the back of the paddle. Just quickly whip one of those out. Be careful because they are sprung. I've got the Storm develop one, Development ones on mine, so they're not quite so bad. So it'll only undo a certain amount and you'll feel that there's no resistance anymore. I always just put my thumb on and you can just slide that out then. Keep my thumb on this one because as you can see, it's trying to spring up. Set the bolt aside, remove that slowly. I'll take that spring out, put that in there. Same for the other side. Again, I'm going to put my thumb on just to take the tension off the spring. That's stopped undoing now, so I know that it's loose. Put my thumb on and slide it out. Release the tension. That will come free. Spring out. 
and just put that on the side. What you do need to be careful of is make sure that your little micro switch covers aren't um, broken. Some, some are broken and they can manage to fall out. These ones seem pretty good, they're intact. I can't pull those out. The cap covers do normally just come off. But that's how I'm gonna send my wheel off. I'm just gonna tape those down to make sure they don't get lost. The loom can just stay in place. They can strip it, retrim it, and send it back to me. And that's the end of that. If you did like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, give it a quick like, subscribe to the channel. If it helped you, I'm really glad. Um, any comments, I always read them, so I like to um, you know, try and comment back and just return the feedback. I do appreciate it all. Um, any future videos, feel free to recommend something. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you all next time. Take care, guys.